Mr. President, it's a great pleasure uh, to be back in, in Poland. And I would like to thank Poland for acting as one of the hosts uh, for Exercise Steadfast Jazz uh, and for your significant contribution. And uh, I would like to thank you, Mr. President, and the people of Poland for your commitment uh, to NATO. Uh, as we complete our biggest uh, combat operation uh, in Afghanistan at the end of next year, we will build on the lessons we learned there through exercises like this. So, for NATO, this is the shape of things to come. Steadfast Jazz yes, is more than just a test for our troops. It is the place where we can test our current and future capabilities and our long-term plans to defend any ally, plans to defend any ally um, anywhere, deploy anywhere, and deter any threat. And the lessons that we learn here today will help to keep our forces strong and to keep them strongly connected in the years to come. So today we celebrate the beginning of a new chapter in NATO's history, and I'm proud that we are doing so on the soil of Poland as we mark the 15th year of your membership of this alliance. Yesterday I visited the deployed headquarters of this exercise in, in Latvia. Uh, this is a NATO exercise, but officers from our partner countries, uh, Finland and Sweden, were there too. And today, uh, troops uh, from Ukraine are taking part in this live exercise. And this too is the future, to build security together with our partners. I know that Poland is a firm supporter of this approach and a firm supporter of our cooperation with partner countries. So once again, let me thank you, Mr. President, and the people uh, of Poland for your commitment to NATO, to security, and to the future of this alliance. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would like to invite the Prime Minister of the Republic of Lithuania, Algirdas Butkiewicz, to speak. Thank you. Mr. President of the Republic of Poland, firstly, I would like to congratulate you and the Poland people with an upcoming Independence Day. And I'm very glad to be here today in the middle of the historic NATO exercises. And thank you very much for the invitation. Um, the common efforts of our countries in this fast jazz exercises send a strong signal that we stand together ready with a strong resolution to defend uh, our countries. The first military exercise of such large extent in our region is a great chance to check our possibilities of accepting NATO reinforcements in the Baltic states, training host of the Baltic, as well as host of the Baltic, as well as defensive capabilities while operating together with other soldiers of the alliance in the NATO, organized, exercised, uh, stand fast uh, jazz. The aim of the exercise is to strengthen the capabilities of the Baltic states to accept NATO reinforcement in case of a crisis. Notably, the exercise will involve not only the headquarters staff, but also combat units. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to invite the chairman of the military committee, General Knut Bartels, to take a floor. Mr. President, NATO forces are permanently planning and exercising for all contingencies, as they have always done. The exercises are valuable tools for troops and commanders alike, being used to verify the level of training, and they also help us to identify shortcomings 
and provides a basis for further refinement of our doctrines and procedures. Steadfast Jazz 13 is the latest exercise in the Steadfast Jazz series, designed to certify the NATO response force for the following year. Steadfast Jazz 13 is the first exercise in the series since 2006 to include a live exercise component, which we have just seen today, and to have a collective defense scenario, the core component of the NATO-Washington Treaty and one of the three pillars of the strategic concept. As you know, the NATO response force is the immediate response capability and far smaller than follow-on forces that NATO could potentially deploy in response to a crisis. The NATO response force is also the vehicle to carry out the implementation of the Connected Forces Initiative. Watching this exercise today, I would like to recall as we speak that NATO still has over 90,000 troops deployed on operations, including ISAF in Afghanistan, K4 in Kosovo, a counter-piracy operation off the coast of Somalia, and a maritime counter-terrorist operation in the Mediterranean. We are also conducting air policing over the Baltic state, as mentioned, and deploying Patriot missiles to protect Turkey against missile threats from Syria. In other words, allies are thus working closely together to promote security and stability. And in addition to this NATO uh, exercise, allies are also conducting multinational exercises outside the alliance umbrella. For instance, the April 2013 Joint Warrior Exercise run by the British Armed Forces brought together many allied countries. Two of NATO's standing maritime groups participated in these exercises. Other exercises earlier this year trained the land and air components of the NATO Response Force to certify their capability for the NATO Response Force before being brought together in Steadfast Jazz 2013 in those very days. In the future, as mentioned, as NATO transitions from the alliance that is operationally engaged to an alliance that is operationally prepared, the importance of this exercise will increase. Last week, I had the honor to visit the NATO counter-piracy operation Ocean Shield and experience how the newly arrived Ukrainian frigate was able to plug into a live operation working closely together with one of NATO's standing maritime forces. The interoperability achieved in support of the NATO operation and with support of NATO organization and individual allies is a clear sign of what NATO and allies can, and partners can do together. And I definitely look forward to the coming years where exercise will be primarily planned to ensure that we are ready for every contingent we might face in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, General. Thank you both of the presidents, uh, Secretary General and Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.